Johnson's right. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I have uh, pondered this issue many times and have tossed and turned about it uh, because I do respect the fact that the military is a uh, society in and of itself and the chain of command is so uh, important uh, in military affairs uh, so as to maintain discipline and, um, and for other reasons. Um, and I deeply respect that tradition. I cannot, um, I cannot stand silent, however, while there is a raging storm that has been ex exposed now, and that's undeniable and irrefutable, and that is the uh, prevalence of sexual assault in the military involving both male and female victims. And the system is not working, ladies and gentlemen, as it is. And so I respect, being a lawyer myself, I respect lawyers, professional uh, lawyers who are trained and employed by the military and they have respect for the rule of law and also for the traditions of uh, rank and uh, chain of command and that kind of thing. But I believe that those military lawyers, the prosecutors, are um, professional enough to be able to make the call and make a call that is rooted in probable cause as, as they determine it to be, which a lawyer and a prosecutor, a trained prosecutor, can uh, make based on their experience and training, which is lacking with non-lawyers. Um, senior command officials who tend to make the decisions based on factors other than probable cause to believe that the offense, the alleged offense, did in fact occur. And so I think it's time for us to recognize that we must make some changes. This change is, uh, is not revolutionary, though it is different. Uh, we need a chance because the way that we're going right now is not working. And with that, I will yield back.